What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and welcome back to Game On Monkey Flop. Today I wanted to try this video out on this channel. Please give me your constructive criticism in those comments down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to be talking about a couple of different news topics. If one of the news topics is not your jam, please skip ahead to the next one. Starting off, I actually wanted to talk about GameStop liquidating sales. What does this mean? What does this mean for the future of GameStop? Well, it's very interesting that GameStop would plan on liquidating stores when if they were to just shut down the store, they can take that merchandise and put it in another store. And in Los Angeles, there's so many GameStops within a 10 mile radius, it's crazy to not just bring that stuff over. But I guess the ship shipment and transporting costs um, are not justified or something like that. I, I'm not exactly sure why they're doing it, but they're liquidating stores. What does that mean for you and I? Pay attention to the GameStop stores around you. If they are liquidating or planning on liquidating their store, then plan on going to that store. Recently, there was a store that liquidated uh, here in the Santa Monica area, I believe. It was right off of Venice Boulevard, I think. They liquidated the entire store. And when I found that out, I went in and I scored on some uh, figurines, especially this one right here. This one I got for like 90% off. I walked out of the store and I felt like I stole it. It was so cheap. With that being said, you know, if you go into the stores that are liquidating their stores, um, they are selling stuff for 50 to 70 to 90% off. People were walking out with Nintendo Switches. I will say this, that if you do buy, uh, you know, one of the consoles or you know, a higher end product off of GameStop that's liquidating, they actually have to register the serial number to your name and you won't be able to resell it to another GameStop um, or trade it in at that matter. Uh, it's like final sale, that's it. So if you're trying to come up on some money by reselling stuff, you won't be able to do that at GameStop. I'm sure there's other places that you could do that. Nevertheless, GameStop is liquidating uh, 100 stores, which is actually pretty wild. They usually do a couple of, uh, at a time to where it's not noticeable, but this is gonna be a big change and it's gonna actually stir up uh, the, the gaming controversy of is GameStop dying? Is it gonna be dead? Is it going away? Is it gonna file bankruptcy? We do know that console sales are low, especially with the PlayStation 5, Xbox, next-gen consoles coming out really soon. A lot less people are buying it. And the fact that uh, more things are going digitally and GameStop can't sell anything digitally anymore pretty much other than PlayStation Network gift cards, um, they used to be able to sell the code for the game. They can't do that no more. Um, so that's hurt their bottom line. So many factors in, we, we could talk about this for hours. I don't want to get into all that, but there's a lot of reasons why GameStop is failing. Now they're holding on to hope with their new concept of putting in uh, game stations in stores. We still don't know how this is going to look. Um, I'm reminded of the this uh, little store in the Galindo Galleria. If you guys live in the Los Angeles area or are familiar with the Galindo Galleria, you have GameStop right here and across the way, there's another place that, uh, you know, just rents out uh, game stations. They have like 20 PCs, they have like 20 Xbox Ones, and you can go in and you could rent um, a station for $5 for an hour or $15 for the entire day. People literally go there and just play video games all day. Um, but what kind of uh, scares me is the fact that anytime you go into that store, there's a good amount of people in those, you know, in renting the space but it's not completely filled up. How's that gonna look for GameStop? Are people going to want to go into GameStop to play video games like that? Um, and is this gonna work? Of course, they're gonna be taken away from a lot of merchandise, uh, you know? They're gonna have to take a lot of merchandise out to make this space happen, which means they're gonna sell a lot less stuff that is what makes them the most money. I can't think realistically um, they have these stations open for free to the public. There's got to be some sort of fee or some sort of charge, whether they charge uh, by the hour, um, you know, a bundle or by the entire day. We still have to wait and see how that's going to play out. But I, I can't imagine them, you know, having these stations up for free 
um, because they're, they're already going to be losing money by having them in the stores. That's just my opinion. I'm not like a professional rocket scientist, you know, that has all the answers. No, that's just my personal opinion, but I love to know you guys' thoughts. Next up, I actually wanted to talk about some movie news, and this is video game related too, because Sonic the Hedgehog has surpassed 210 million dollars worldwide with uh, them earning 58 million dollars domestically that puts them on the top of any video game that turned into a movie including pokemon which is wild pokemon has reportedly uh, made 54 million dollars domestically within 10 days and sonic 58 million puts them on top now this is actually wild to me because how many people do you know that are Pokemon fans versus how many people you know that are Sonic the Hedgehog fans. I feel like there's a lot more Pokemon fans than Sonic fans, but it's wild. So let me know you guys' thoughts, but either way, did you guys see Sonic? How was it? What were your guys' thoughts? Next up, I actually wanted to talk about the PlayStation Player Celebration because PlayStation has updated us and we surpassed the goal within three days. That is honestly wild to me. Now, PlayStation has confirmed that they're going to be sending out the new theme to everyone um, starting next week. So pay attention to your notifications uh, bar in your PlayStation 4 menu because you should receive a download code for the theme you guys are seeing on the screen right now. Uh, I can't wait to see how long it takes us to reach the second goal and then the third goal. Are you guys participating? Have you guys signed up? Let me know in those comments. Next up, I actually quickly wanted to mention if you missed yesterday's video on the main channel, we talked about the PlayStation 4 system software update 7.50 which is currently in beta. They're sending out uh, beta codes for those of you guys that have signed up to participate in System Software Updates betas. So uh, pay attention to that if you guys wanna participate. Remember, it is a beta and things will break and I don't want you guys to go into thinking like, oh man, I'm gonna be part of something cool because this beta is just to perform system software uh, performance and all that mumbo jumbo. It's just to enhance the performance of the PlayStation 4 system software stability. Nothing new, no new features as we know of yet. Um, but are you guys going to participate? Did you guys receive that email? I still haven't received that email. <laughs> Funny, right? So now I wanted to talk about the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection. As many of you guys know, we're going to be getting Shadow of the Colossus and Sonic Forces for the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection for the month of March. With that being said, I honestly personally thought that when the announcement happened, a lot of people were going to be excited about Shadow of the Colossus and not so much about Sonic Forces, considering the fact that Sonic Forces actually got slammed by critics and... The people that bought it didn't enjoy it as much and a lot of you guys whenever i do the deals and offers of the week a lot of you guys will actually comment that the game is not that good but according to social media everybody seems to love the game and um everybody was talking about sonic forces over uh shadow of the colossus which in in my opinion is very interesting um, I could definitely understand considering the fact that we just talked about the Sonic movie doing so good. People are probably interested in the Sonic game. Um, and fun fact that this tweet by PlayStation announcing the PlayStation Plus Instinct Game Collection was the most liked tweet about the PlayStation Plus Instinct Game Collection like ever. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think about everything that we covered in today's video. Make sure to hit a like, comment down below, support your boy. If you guys are new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.